Former Israeli Prime Minister Yitzhak Shamil passed away over the weekend at the age of 96. Shamil was Israel's seventh Prime Minister, and in addition to serving two terms in office, both in 1983 and then again in 1986, he held many key positions in Israel's history, including serving as Foreign Minister and Speaker of the Knesset. Shamir led the state of Israel during the first Gulf War when Israel was bombarded with missiles by Saddam Hussein. Today, the citizens of Israel mourn his death. Yitzhak Shamir was a very special person. I think that um, now in a time of a uh, decade of uh, capitalism, he was a person of uh, ideals. And uh, I think that Israel was, the love of Israel was behind everything in his life. Okay, Yitzhak Shamir, I, I, I admire him, and when he was young, he was uh, one of the most admired soldiers in this country, and he was like one of the, one of the founders of, uh, of this country, even before it was built, so uh, to me it's a very uh, big loss. He was uh, low in stature, he was a very short man, um, I actually remember, because I was very short growing up, and uh, he was like the, the first adult that I remember actually being taller than him as a, as a child, uh, which made me feel good, but he was a very powerful man and he was very definitely very well respected. Uh, I remember him, I remember his smile, I remember his uh, curly hair, and I remember he was living in Tel Aviv in Charette Street, so I think I even saw him a couple of times just walking as a regular person. I think that this is was one of the, the things that we can say about him. He was like this is man, he was a man. He wasn't like prime minister with all the proud. He was a very, very special man. He was a man that uh, for his principle, he was, uh, he was ready to give his uh, life. And I like him. I just wanted to say the one thing I remember about Yitzhak Shamir was um, a couple of things. Number one, that he went to the Madrid conference. I don't think that he was very excited about doing that. Um, but on the other hand, he was very true uh, to his ideals and, uh, and the greater land of Israel. And it was one thing which he was not afraid um, to uh, stand up to, uh, the, to the United States and, and President Bush at that time and really go head to head on the issues that were important for him. It's a trait which we don't really see in, in politicians uh, to date, which I think is very admirable that he was able to stand by his convictions and not really budge on those issues which uh, you know, he, he saw as important to him. So. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu stated that Yitzhak Shamir belonged to the generation who founded the State of Israel. He was a man who fought for the Jewish people's freedom and right to live in it. And Israeli President Shimon Peres referred to him as a brave warrior in this country's history. Shamil's funeral is scheduled to take place on Monday and will be departing from the Knesset. For JN1, I'm Sivan Raviv, Israel.